Gee, it's funny in your introduction, I didn't mention Dear Tony for Mame. I didn't mention uh, Golden Girls. I didn't mention uh, Maud. I wonder if in, in retrospect we've forgotten that Maud is such a vivid image that Maud began on All in the Family as the cousin? Yes, I was I was uh, Jean, uh, Edith's cousin. Edith's cousin, yeah. Yeah. Uh. And uh, then <laughs> I, am, I can't believe my life has, been, has become one huge television set. Did you think, because when I first laid eyes on you, it was on the stage of the Theater de Lise in the oh, village. Uh, Three Penny? In Three Penny Opera. Three Penny Opera. It's you realize that you was went, 1954. You I do know, 55. I know. I, I must have been in someone's arms as an infant. Well, you must hardly, have been but a teenage girl. But my parents let me walk <laughs> to the theater because I didn't have to cross any streets. We lived on Christopher. I mean, on Tenth. Yeah. Right behind the theater. That, that's true. You, yes. You're, you're not yes. putting me on. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I suppose you thought, as many New York actors do when they go out to do a series, well, it'll bomb the way 99% of them do, and I'll be right back to New York. Of course. Here you've been. Of course. It's just, I, I, I can't believe, I can't believe it happens to one person this yeah. many times. I mean, this often. It's just... Uh, yeah, it, I suppose it, it would be comparable mathematically to hitting three jackpots in Vegas in a row or something to I have been know, in I three guess. hit series when by definition every no, series... No, no, not three. Two. Where did you... You're not talking about Amanda's. No, I was thinking... No, but no, all in the family. Well, Maud, I just did one. And Golden Girls. I just did one uh, segment of All in the Family. Well, so we can't really count that though no, you were in it. but that yeah. was a hit series. Well, two... All in the family. Well, being maybe like winning the lottery twice though. The odds just must I be know, enormous. I know, I know. Very... Very difficult. Amanda now was one, will you admit you thought it was going to be good? I thought it was going to be not only good, but I thought it was going to take television one step beyond where it had ever been. Change the face of television. Because it was, when it was presented to me, uh, I was given a cassette of John Cleese doing Faulty Towers, uh -huh. and I thought, this is it. I mean, I, it won't be Maud again. I won't have to play uh, detective roles. You know, immediately I finished with Maud, writers would come up with ideas. They figured, well, she doesn't want to do another mm -hmm. comedy so quickly, so let's make her a plain clothes detective <sighs> or the mother of a policeman or the widow of someone who works in police records, you know, mm -hmm. some, something like that. A departure. Which are, yes. <laughs> and along came this thing that was so bizarre and so, so outlandish and, and, and just so shameless that I thought, I, this, is, this is it. I mean, I've, I've done a lot of sketch work and musical reviews and really consider myself quite a quite a sketch performer and a farcer and I thought this was it. Yeah. Of course they immediately started warming it up. You know what I mean? And it ended up being Putting in warmth. Yeah, being nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I thought well that was the end of the uh, so called sitcom uh, mm. part of my life. And that then along came this and the fluke that you saw yeah. the television as had passed and now it was back to yeah, yeah. maybe off Broadway. Yeah. And maybe more fun than all that television yeah. fame and money and headaches. Yes. And recognition. And, reg and other things you like. money. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fame. Did you ever dream that when you began in television, or even before that, that not only would you hear the word orgasm mentioned in the medium, the medium must have been 25 years old before it was ever heard, even in you a medical know, sense, and four women middle-aged women sitting around talking about it in an episode of the Golden <laughs> yes, Girls. <laughs> yes, I love it. No, it's interesting. I was, uh, I forget who I was talking to someone about this. When I started doing Maud, Norman Lear was breaking all the taboos, you know. <laughs> I mean, we tackled everything. We did things on homosexuals and, and everything, but as I say, everything except hemorrhoids, which was never yeah. discussed. But uh, the language was not as of today as it is now. I mean, now we, are, would seem we, are, able, we are able to say pretty much what we want much, to yeah. say yeah. in terms of actual verbiage. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. Ah, yeah, you and I were talking about, is it equated to or equated, what was that? Oh, yeah. with, compared to or compared with and all that. Equated to. 
Oh, so yes. that's God. Uh, I checked on that. I'm always afraid some foreign person will ask me a point <laughs> on grammar. <laughs> no. Because I never knew it in school yeah. and I don't now. Um, I've never heard you talk about specifically what it was like to be six, nine and a half. Five, and, nine and a half. Oh, I'm sorry. Come on, Richard. I'm sorry. I, uh, my notions of you are bigger than life yes. always anyway. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what did they say mostly? How's the weather up there? That How's the weather up there was, mm -hmm. I guess that was pretty much it. Yeah. Or, hey, shorty. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Know. That's, Who listened? Those I was, I was busy doing my Mae West impersonations and things uh -huh. like that. I, for, I, I may have asked you this before, if I ever forgive me. Did you slouch the way tall girls are said no, to do? No, I never did. Good for you. I never did. Yeah. But I wore so many flat heels that now when I want to wear heels, I can't... I can't stand up in them, let alone walk in them, you know? <laughs> it, it really is impossible. Yeah. Please Who ask knows? me why I'm here. Who knows what emotional scars they get. Well, we're out of time. It's been nice of you to come. And we, uh, we're only temporarily out of time. We have a message. When we get back, we'll talk about why you want to be here, why you're here. Fine, thank you. It's a wonderful thing. You do know I, about I, I it. I wouldn't say that. I probably would, but in this case, it really is. We'll be back with B. Arthur. Stay with me.